My name is Rick Piltz, and in 2005, I blew the whistle on Bush White House political interference with climate science communication. It started really during the first year, spinning the language of a National Academy of Sciences report. Rather than taking the science as it was given to them and dealing with policy issues, they came in with a predetermined political agenda, which is we are not going to regulate the energy industry. A former oil industry lobbyist from the American Petroleum Institute became the chief of staff in the White House Environmental Policy Office, the Council on Environmental Quality. I mean, it has a very corrosive effect on your morale when you're inside these situations and you're seeing what you think is an abuse of power. When this guy's edits came to me, I mean, there was a part of me that, that said, who do you think you're dealing with? Do you think I'm one of you? I'm not one of you. It wasn't how can we communicate this more precisely, more accurately. It was how can I make this look the way the White House wants it to look. One more thing happened and I found myself saying, okay, that's it. I'm not doing this. I resigned without a plan except I am now free to speak. And then I found Gap. And when the Gap decides to get involved in the fight, the other side is going to know. In June of 2005, the New York Times ran a front page story. It was my whistleblower story. Two days after it broke, um, the oil industry lobbyist resigned from the White House. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. And then about three days after that, it was announced in the Times that he had taken a position with Exxon Mobil and was leaving for Dallas. And I thought, well, that's more like it. Henry Waxman of California had become the new chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. And the very first hearing he held was on January 30th, 2007, was on allegations of political interference with federal climate scientists. Working with GAP in late 2005, I started the Climate Science Watch project watchdogging the federal government on how it's dealing with the climate change problem. You need people on the inside who will say, yes, this is what we were told. They all need a watchdog. It's not just one administration. They all need a watchdog.